Hello everyone, Jopke here from the Netherlands. Today I'm going to make mixed media morsel number 13 and that is with painted circles. Uh, as you all know by now I am making my mixed media morsels on beer coasters and in 2016 there were uh, 32 mixed media morsels so those for sure are going to uh, be created on beer coasters and I guess by then this ring will be quite full. So I'm thinking to do the ones uh, from 2017 in a little book but um, I'll still have to search for one so um, yeah. This one number 13 is with painted circles and um, I already tried a few as usual and they didn't quite work out the way that I would uh, like to see them but um, now I have a totally different idea the technique will be the same but instead of making small circles I'm going to make one big circle because well my beer coaster is in a round shape so yeah I'm thinking of doing a kind of spiral thing here so that's the plan um, first I'm going to uh, do something with the background and I'm gluing down this piece of dictionary paper, book text and I will probably do a bit of gesso on that and maybe some stamping so let's start using my um, glue stick To glue this down and uh, the technique here is to add the paint with uh, a q-tip, a, q a cotton uh, swab, how do you call it, a q-tip Trimming this down that is it all glued down properly and now I'm adding a bit of gesso this is from Bleiswijk gesso which um, is available at Action for the Dutch people. Just using a palette knife to give it some texture as well. And then this needs to dry, so I'll be back in a second. So gesso is dry and first I'm going to use my Stazon black ink pad to do this stamp. It's the perfect round shape for this beer coaster and I've used it before. So. Thank you. 
and hopefully um, it uh, will show even after I put all this paint on top. It's not all that important to get it precisely in the middle. Okay, I'm happy with that. So this needs to dry for a little bit and then I'm going to start painting my circle. Uh, probably will speed that part up because that would uh, take quite a while I think before I'm done. So the plan is to start in the middle and then work my way to the outside. So. I have a few colors picked out, uh, I'm not even sure if they go together, I just picked a few colors. Uh, this is an Americana Sea Breeze and these are from Artiste, this is Buttermilk and this is Lagoon, this is Rouge and this is an Orange um, from from Bleiswijk, which is from Action again. So probably uh, going to use these colors. Maybe I will pick one more, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So for the rest of this video, I will do a voice over and speed things up. Um, I am applying the paint onto my uh, work surface, which is in fact my brand new whiteboard. Uh, I told you about this a couple of days ago in a little vlog, short kind of video. Uh, I found this um, at Action, uh, which is a Dutch store, and it's very, very easy to clean. So even when the paint has dried up a bit, you can very easily uh, remove it and you will have a clean surface again. So I am applying the paint with different uh, Q-tips. For every color I use another Q-tip. Um, I cut them in half because, well, I did a few uh, of these uh, painted circles uh, already and used up a lot of Q-tips. So I thought, well, let's cut them in half and going in a circle motion, uh, sort of a spiral motion um, on my beer coaster. So I have uh, painted my circle all around the beer coaster and uh, I, I'm going to leave it at this. Uh, I just add a little quote which says, start somewhere. I thought that was kind of funny because, well, you can step in uh, any time and that counts for the mixed media morsels and also for other things in life. Uh, I coated it with a mud podge to uh, seal it properly and give it a bit of a shiny coat and because I'm going to make these my prompt cards as well, my inspiration prompt cards, I glue a piece of scrapbook paper on the back side and I'm adding the quote uh, paint circles with Q-tips. That's my prompt for this card. So now I'm outlining uh, the prompt and I'm using the red acrylic paint uh, for painting the edges of this prompt. And that's about it for mixed media morsel number 13. Remember to check the description box for the link to the Facebook group if you like to join in. So that's it. That's it for me, guys. See you again soon. Bye bye.